Hi Cancer, welcome to Aries Caribbean Tarot. My name is Shwanaya and this is the Mermaid Advice for today. I'm doing Cancer readings soon. I'm doing Cancer Advice every day because it's quite easy to do. This mermaid, it says here, mermaid with butterflies. So I don't know if it's a metamorphosis. It's number 30 for those of you who like numbers. I'm not sure what that might mean to you. Write to me, number 30. I don't know what it means to me. <laughs> it's on page 78. Number 30 is a three and a zero. So it means three to me. Okay. A zero really can't cut itself sometimes. 78. Let's see. It's upright. So it says, rise above your circumstances, Cancer. Stand firm. It is time to rise above your current circumstances. You have been content with lesser and corrupted things for too long. Right, Cancer? Wow. Elevate. You deserve better. Let me go again. It is time to rise above your current circumstances. You have been content with lower and corrupted things for too long. Look inside your innermost self and realize that you are not happy with aspects of your situation. Deep down, you realize that you are better than your circumstances. Perhaps your circle of friends is pulling you down in a bad direction or perhaps your work is beneath your skills that's what i'm saying your abilities and your asp your skills your abilities and your aspirations but you are having trouble breaking free it could be home life or your partner or your neighborhood or where you live itself your house itself that is up to that is not up to standard however just like a butterfly mermaid you have seen a path to peace and purity shake off the corrupt the corrupt acquaintances like dust off your friends stop talking to certain people and the duties the duties that are beneath you stop doing what is beneath you it says shake off the corrupt acquaintances and shake off the duties that are beneath you and aspire for more more spirituality, more emotionally, and more intellectuality. Like, aspire for more in everything you do, Cancer. Take inspiration from the noble butterfly. Take wings and rise above. Wow. Wow, Cancer, you are sending. Wow, wow, wow. This is like page of... Coming from a page to a king, an emperor, empress. Let's see what's further advice we can clarify. What else for cancer? Is it cancer we're reading for? I'm even confused now. I think it's cancer, yes. <laughs> I've done quite a few of these already, guys. So that's what's going on. Ten of ones in reverse, cancer with the six of clubs. Here you are. In your own reading. It says, stop taking the weight of the world on your shoulders. And learn to delegate and share the work. Okay? Don't do it all by yourself. You're feeling the beginning of... You are feeling the beginning stages of burnout. So invest in your mental health, my love. This card is telling you that now is a good time to purge, declutter, and simplify your life. And you'll find a benefit from a better organization. So the mermaid is saying, cut off those friends that you don't need. Don't be afraid to do it. It is 2024. We're not getting younger. All right? Cut and go chew. You may be reminiscing about your childhood or thinking about someone from the past. Six of Cups energy. This card is a card of children and can represent working with adolescents. Okay? Working with simplicity, it can also represent playfulness, innocence, protection, and family. Take the support available from family and close friends. So, weed out. You need to weed out so you can know. Like, if you have a project and people don't support you. Hmm? And you alone are fight, a fight, a fight. Why you need them around you for? 
It's not like me. I'm a lonely person, so I don't expect people to nothing because I'm just me. And it's a got you. But if you have a whole barrage and they not support you, drop them. Better be you better off alone. I mean, I'm not just saying that because I'm alone. I'm saying that because I'm better off alone. <laughs> Subscribe, cancer. I'll give you a different one tomorrow. I have a other different advice. Dex, my name is Shwanaya. Give thanks. Yeah.